hey there everyone welcome back to lead coding in this video we are going to solve the problem binary tree in order traversal so first of all we will see what is an in order traversal then we will see the recursive solution to the problem and then we will go to the most frequently asked iterative solution to the problem so let us go to the whiteboard and see what is an in order traversal so let us say we have a tree 1 2 3 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this is the tree that we have and we want to perform the in order traversal on this tree. So the in order traversal means the the root value is going to be printed in the middle. Before that the left subtree will be printed then the root value and then the right subtree will be printed. Now when we want to print the left subtree first Again, we are going to do the same thing. The left subtree is printed first, then the root value, and then the right subtree. So, we are going to print 4, and we will see that 4 have no children, so 4 is going to be printed. So, 4 is the first number that is going to come as the output when we are printing the in-order traversal of this tree. Then, after 4, it is 2. Now, we are done with the left subtree we will be printing the root value which is 2 for this specific tree now we will be printing 2 here once done with 2 we will be going to the right subtree in the right subtree we have only one value which is equal to 5 and that is why we will be printing 5 and we will go back now we are done printing this subtree this subtree which is marked by orange circle we are done with this much now after that we will go back to 1 and now 1 is going to be printed because we are done with the left subtree so 1 will come as the next output now we will move on to the right subtree which is again marked by an orange circle now in this tree this is the root and this is the left subtree and this is the right subtree we will go to the left subtree first and we will see that there is only one node that is why it will get printed then we will move on to the root node which is 3 so 3 will be printed here and then we will move on to the right subtree which contains only one node which is 7 so 7 will come as the output so this is the output that we obtain if we want to perform an in order traversal on the given tree now how we can do this recursively so for those who know recursion it will be very simple to code this problem and for those who don't know recursion I will provide the link in the description there's a very compact video you can find the theory as well as few standard problems from the topic recursion you can go that watch that video and then come back again try solving this problem so as I always make a helper function whenever I'm implementing recursion the same I'm doing here I'm creating a helper function void which is going to take free node root as the input and it will take a vector of integer this is going to be our answer so if the current root is equal to null then we can simply return from here otherwise what we have to do is first of all we have to perform the same algorithm to print the in order traversal of the left subtree so that is why we are sending help of roots left and answer so it will contain the answer of the left subtree now we have to print the current root so printing here means inserting it or pushing it back to the answer so push back roots value and then perform the same algorithm that is print the in order traversal of the right subtree alright so this is it for the code it is as simple as this now you have to call this function from your main in order traversal function passing the answer let us create the answer here vector of int answer and we can return answer let us try to run this help of roots right comma answer let us directly submit this and see if it is giving us correct answer so it got accepted it is very simple to understand that first of all we are performing the same algorithm the same function help on the left subtree then we are printing the current node the current root node and then we are performing the same algorithm on the right subtree this is same as what we discussed in this diagram 
So in this diagram, first we went for the left subtree and this was the root of the left subtree. Then we again went on the left subtree which had only one value and which got printed. Then we came back, printed the value 2 and went to the right subtree which had only one value which is 5 and then came back again to 2 and went back to 1. Now 1 will be printed because 1 is the root node here and then it will call the same function recursively on the right subtree. So this is the output. Now we will see how we can perform the same recursion using iteration. So here we will be taking the help of a stack. So we know that whenever we want to perform recursion we can do it with the help of a stack as well. So first of all let me create a tree. So let us suppose we have the same tree. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and we have a stack so this is going to be our stack and inside the stack initially we are going to insert the entire tree so this entire tree is inside the stack let us put it inside the stack now how we can put entire tree inside the stack so we just have to put the uh, root node inside the stack. So the stack will contain the root node 1 and which will denote that the entire tree is inside the stack. Now what we are going to do is we are going to pop this out. So we will have the tree outside and we will see and we will see that if the root node is having any left subtree or not. So in this case we find that there is a left subtree. So we are going to chop this off. We are going to remove this connection and we are going to insert this left subtree to the top of the already existing tree. So we are going to remove this connection and we are going to put the left subtree above the already existing tree. So now this subtree is going to come above the already existing tree. So this will be the configuration of the stack now. Now again we are going to look at topmost tree which is present inside the stack and the topmost tree is 2, 4 and 5 and we will see if the root of this tree is having any left subtree and in this case the answer is yes we are having a left subtree which is 4 so we are going to remove this connection and we are going to insert 4 above this tree so this will be the configuration this is what we are exactly doing in the recursion as well. We will keep calling the left subtree until we have the left subtree and as soon as we don't have the left subtree, so in this example when we take out 4 and we will find that there is no left subtree, we are going to print it. So we are going to pop this out, we are going to print it or insert it into the vector answer and we will simply remove it from the top of the stack. Then again we will find that at the top of the stack there is this tree so this tree for this tree we are going to check if it have the left subtree which in this case is false it is not having any left subtree so 2 is going to be printed and we will see if it have if it is having the right subtree we are going to insert the right subtree after printing 2 so first of all we are going to print 2 so we are going to insert 2 into the vector answer and then we will put the remaining right subtree on the top of the stack. So 5 is the remaining right subtree. So 5 will come on top of the stack. Like this. Now we will see what is at the top of the stack. It is 5. Now we will check if 5 is having any left subtree. It is not. So nothing is going to be pushed. Now it is 5's turn to get printed. So 5 will be printed and it will see that after being printed if it is having any right subtree. In this case it is not having any right subtree so it will be simply removed. Now this is the tree that is on the top now and we are going to see the left subtree of the tree and in this case there is no left subtree so it is one turn to be printed now so one will be printed one will be inserted into the answer and one is going to be popped out. When one is being popped out we will check if one is having any right subtree and in this case the answer is yes it is having a right subtree which is 3, 6 and 7, this subtree will be pushed to the top of the stack. Now this is what, now this is at the top of the stack and 
we will see if this tree is having any right subtree. In this case, the answer is yes. It is 6, which is the right subtree. So 6, the connection of 6 and 3 will be removed and 6 will be inserted on the top of the stack. Now again, as 6 is not having any left subtree, so 6 will be printed. And as 6 is not having any right subtree, so nothing will be pushed when 6 will be popped out of the stack. Then we will see 3. 3 is not having any left subtree, so 3 will be printed. Now when 3 is popped out, the right subtree of 3 will be inserted, which is 7. So 7 is at the top of the stack now. Similarly, 7 will be printed. As 7 is not having any left subtree, and after being popped or after being printed, it is not having any right subtree. So the stack will be empty. So now we will end our iteration, and this will be the final output which is the same output that we get when we do the in-order traversal recursively. So now let us see the code for the same, whatever we have discussed. So we are going to create the answer, vector of int answer, and we will keep a stack. So this is the stack from the standard template libraries and the type of the stack, the values which are being stored in the stack will be of type tree node. And while S is not empty, while not S not empty, we are going to perform this operation. So what we were doing, we were looking at the top of the stack. So we will see the top of the stack which is X is equal to s dot top if this top is having any left subtree so if x left is not equal to null that means it is having a left subtree in that case what we are going to do is we are going to push x is left on the top of the stack so s dot push x left and x left is now equal to null because we are removing this connection and if it is not the case if it is not having any left subtree then it is x's turn to be printed so answer dot push back x's value and this time we want to pop it out so s dot pop and while popping we will see if it is having any right subtree so if x dot right if x is right exist then we are going to push s dot push x is right and it will it will go on till the time stack is not empty and finally we are going to return answer let us try to run this Actually, there's one more thing that we have to do. We have to insert the given root node in the stack. So s dot push the root. Otherwise, the stack is going to be empty in the very beginning and nothing is going to work. So now we are getting correct answer. Let us try to submit this. Uh, we have to handle the case. If not root, then return answer yeah so now talking about the space and the time complexities the time complexity in both the cases is big O of n because we are going to each of the node and there are n nodes so the time complexity is big O of n talking about the space complexity in the recursive solution we were actually using implicit stacks and in the iterative solution we are using explicit stack so if we are considering them both equal then we will be using big O of H where H is the height of the tree extra space. So this is it for the solution. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Please share it with your friends and you can join our telegram group if you want to suggest us topics for our future videos and if you want to discuss any doubts. Also press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of the latest video that we upload. Thank you.